Discord. And yeah, if anyone else joins us, I will let them in. So let's find ourselves going down to the floor and meet in our mat. We're gonna, as soon as we get to our mat, find a comfortable position in with our legs crossed and our sit bones, such as anchors, grounding us to the floor. So as you focus on your breath, you start in every out breath, Every in breath you grow in your spine, and every out breath you stand those hip bones down. And this stability allows your spine to go upwards. And we are starting here with this idea of concentric force. So the top of your head is going upwards towards the sky, and your sit bones are going under like anchors. So we go. Close our eyes and focus on our breath. Activating this first thematic concentric force. It has to do with your breath. Use the breath as if your upper body is a balloon and you want to fill up every single part of this balloon. Shoulders are relaxed. Feel the weight of your arms falling down. You can also put them in lotus position here if it helps. Breathe through your nose and out. Your breath make you grow bigger and bigger. Your out breath ground you. Let the air travel in between your spine discs, creating space and bringing relaxation, this air quality. We take this moment to really imagine our muscles as tight as they feel. We imagine that they release the out breath. Stop holding where there's tension. And last two breaths in, let's make it as long as possible. And big and everything out. Ready, someone? Vivek is here. Go. And last in breath, really have the breath in. Find every single part of your body, every single part, and out. And relax. Open your eyes, twist your body to the right and bow your head towards your right knee. Use your hands to stabilize your body and try to relax and have your head touch the knee and at the same time, enjoy the stretch on the left side and relax. Breathe in, come up. Twist to the other side, breathe out, bow your head, reach with your right arm. And the stick bones are firmly in the floor, and you reach with your right hand to really enjoy that stretch. You'll feel <clears throat> that there is a slight difference in each side, which is totally normal. Stay a little bit longer on the side that hurts and come back to center. So now we're going to go and activate a little bit our core by doing crap pose. So let's find the large part of the mat and either hands like this 
or hands like this. I personally prefer at the beginning of the class to always have my hands pointing at the same direction as the feet so that they're, my wrists are more secure. And in your in-breath, you come up and roll the shoulders back and push your hip forward with your glutes and relax your head. And come back. Now we're going to go back to our crossed legs and we're going to place our hands next to our glutes and we're going to push our feet a little bit more forward, right leg on top of left leg. And on the in-breath, we're going to raise our hips and we're going to push our stomach in and really transfer the weight to your hands. Feel the burn, keep breathing and relax. Come down. Let's stretch to staff pose and use the staff pose to grow on the sides. You can find your knees can be bent here so that you really find your place here. You grow from the sides, arms up and bend forward. Place your hands on your shins. Keep your feet flex and really roll on top of your sit bones. Find the space here. Relax the crown of your head. Breathe in. Come back to cobbler's pose. And here, let's place our hands again in our back and let's grow from the hands. And so this motion, I'll just turn to the side so you see better. This motion opens the chest. So enjoy this openness and come back to staff pose. So let's do this a couple of times. So we go from cobbler's pose to staff pose and cobbler's pose in breath and staff pose. Cobbler's pose. And staff pose and cobbler's pose, staff pose, and last time cobbler's pose. And from here, we're going to go to a half boat and just roll through your lower back. Stomach goes in, legs come up. You try. Activating your core, sending energy from the center of your body to all the extremities, and come back to cobbler's pose. We're going to twist, and we're going to put the right leg on top of the left knee, and we're going to look back on a mermaid's pose, twisting, 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 and opening. Breath in, come back. And other side, left knee on top of right knee. Look back and twist. Grow in your spine. Keep breathing. And come back. As we were requested with some hips activation, we're going to do some nice exercises towards the hips. Just a little activation. So first, we're just going to try to bring our hip up and just play a little bit with that. And you can bring it around. You can control. You can twist it around when it's up. Just, you know slowly activating our hips and all the joints. And we're gonna start with the piriformis stretch. This one is very good for people that are sitting down all the time. Because it's a muscle that goes from our hips, it crosses through our hips to our lower back. And it's a lot of times the reason of pain. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put the, our back on the floor, 
We're going to flex our right foot and put it on top of the left knee. And we're going to raise the left knee. Our right hand goes under the legs and holds the right knee together with the left. And we're going to, again, play with this concentric force of releasing and opening our outer right hip and pulling, pulling, pulling the left knee towards us. And it's this, you can raise the ear and you'll feel In breath and out breath, you relax, bringing your knee closer to your chest, opening more and more and more and more. And you're gonna stand your left leg down. And what we're gonna do is through the inside, we're gonna catch with our left leg, the outside of our right foot, and we're going to not completely, but try to bring our hip, our right hip, a little bit over to the left side. And now, this is a small movement, but what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to pull the glute towards the floor. Feel like this. And you should feel, while staying here, this outer glute stretching as you pull it. Try, it might be a little bit painful, but try to pull, make again a concentric force that your left arm is pulling your right foot and then your glutes, your right glute, that big muscle is trying to come down, providing you with space. This is very, 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 very yummy. And now release. Let's go for the other side. So let's bring our left foot flex on top of the right knee, bring it towards and left arm under, meets the right and pulls it towards you. Left knee is opening externally at the same time that you try to pull your right knee as close to your chest as possible. Stay here. This is one of those stretches that you really feel with time and with the breath when you allow your muscles and your body to be with the breath, to be in the moment and let go. Keep pushing, raise your head if you want the extra push, the extra stretch and from here, we're gonna relax and we're sending the leg back, our right leg back, and we're gonna, right arm grabs the outside of the left foot, and we slowly twist it to our right side, and you pull it with your right arm when it's towards the middle, but your glute, your le left, left glute tries to pull it back to the mat. So enjoy this glute stretch. Keep pulling, keep breathing, keep finding how deep and how intrinsic it, it can be. And one more breath here. Really shower your muscles with air and peace and serenity, allowing gravity and physics to do its work. Come back. And just twist so you can see better. You bring both of your legs up and you grab the outside of your right foot of your feet and we're going to do a few baby cradles here. Really try to pull your hips and roll from side to side. Like a baby in a crib, finding space, releasing the hips, and also at the same time giving yourself a massage through the breath, gravity in the floor, playing here a little bit more, a little bit more, 
Then come back and hug the whole body. Hug, 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 and roll yourself back. We're going to go to our fours. Let's just wiggle our tail a little bit. Steve, you, you feel the openness that this, you know, stretches have made. There's more space available and just kind of create circles with your hip towards one direction. Really kind of using this as like a yarn, a hip yarn, so you can really activate and find the space. Always using your breath. And now you go to the other side. See if you can release your spine. Find tight spots. And really try to reach as much space as you can around you without moving from place. And we're going to go we'll tuck our feet under and we're going to do a bit of cow and cat. You're rolling your shoulders. Try to find the spaces in between the two poses, being the ones where you can really do most of the work. And from here, you open your knees a little bit. And you come to your child's pose and let's really try to release our hips here. Let it fall. Let the sacrum fall in between our big toes. Our head, our forehead is on the floor. Allowing air to come to the back of the neck, supporting your spine, relaxing. Opening, sensing, feeling, being in the moment, being with your body and remembering that you can always come back here. Connecting with your breath, it's the most important part of the practice. We're gonna go to back to a plank position. And I want you to roll, activate a little bit of your feet here. by just rolling your weight with your toes, creating this activation and this awakening of our muscles, of our strength here, holding, holding, holding. And now very slowly we go to Chaturanga and here, just roll your shoulders back, create space in your neck, and just come down, down, down to Chaturanga. We're gonna roll our shoulders. We're gonna look up, up, and we're gonna race to an upward facing dog, keeping our knees up the floor. And now through our four, we're gonna find, let me just take my socks off. Right. We're going to find our downward facing dog. And it's our first downward facing dog. Maybe a lot of you, the first inversion of the day. We have your head down. Let's walk our dog here, pedaling through our feet, really pushing the heel to get that maximum half and Back leg stretch and come back from here. We're gonna raise our right leg. We're gonna bring our right knee towards our hand, our right hand, and we're gonna place the knee on the floor, push the back leg down. And here, before we go down, we're gonna check our pose. 
check our position. Check that the two hips are square towards the floor. And you have on your left hip this opening from squaring it down. And once you feel like they're both ready, slowly come down. Place your forehead on top of your hands. Let's stay here. Keep on releasing the hips. Keep the back leg, the left leg activated. Keep your breath opening the depthness of the hip. And come up slowly in breath. If you want to try. An extra, extra stretch. Let's raise the left leg. Place our feet, our weight on the right leg and reach the left foot and just give it a little pull towards the feels comfortable. You'll feel a very deep quadriceps stretch. Keep on opening your hip here and release. Come back to your plank, lower down to Chaturanga, open your shoulders, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Three breaths and downward facing dog. Keep opening the back of your legs, and your hips towards the sky, your stick bones towards the stars. Next breath in, left leg comes up. Bring the left knee towards the left hand and carefully place yourself into a pigeon. Again, everyone has one side that is a little bit stiffer than the other one, so be gentle. That is your side, definitely mine. <laughs> so as soon as you feel, and take that time, you know, to really Go deep and see how you can open those muscles right in front of the hip, stabilizing them, relaxing and diving into your full pigeon. Just a few breaths here. Allow this position to fully give space to your hips. And Allow this to be the moment where you fully take in the benefits of the practice. Come back up. Proud pigeon. And now for the challenge, bend your lower leg, lower right leg, Reach with your right and enjoy this. Use your left hand to position and your hips square against the floor and enjoy this quadricep stretch. See how far you can go and relax. And come back to our vinyasa flow. Upward facing dog. Down or facing dog. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to walk and walk towards our hands. I'm going to stay here on the side so you can see. And we're going to use this inversion to fully open the back of our legs and also to enjoy relaxation of the neck by just allowing it to relax. So don't hold your head. Let it go towards the floor. Keep sending your sit bones up. Keep trying to stretch your knees, opening the back of your leg. 
Take your time, breath. Hold your body. If you can, for some moments, grab the back of your legs and pull more towards you. You can still keep your knees bent here. But stay. stay. And now, vertebra by vertebra, you bend your knees and you come up. Once you reach the top, bring your hands to your heart chest and come up on the top of your toes and down and up and down and up and down and now stay up open your arms towards the side as you are on the top of your toes follow the hands down bring your hands up to an arch and totally find the struggle here with the balance. Bring your hands in the first position towards your belly button. Keep that inner work of the inner thighs bringing you up, keeping you up, holding your body and come down. And we're gonna, yes. So we're going to open our hips towards the side, really at the edge of the mattress. And this is a really good shoulder. So what's very important here is that you keep your outer feet kind of almost imagining to shredding the your mat, you know. So that's the kind of grip that you want to get. You place your hips, shoulders back, and now left shoulder. Under right shoulder, uh, uh, elbow, sorry, and just come to the front. You can bend your knees here if you want. Um, to the back, to a bad back bend, and front, and back. Come back to the middle. Exchange your arms. Open and come down. Really activate your core here. But enjoy that space in between. One more time. Go down and up. Release your arms. Look and dive. Rest your hands on your shins or to the front and find here slowly by letting your upper body relax more and more you're opening your groins your inner legs you're grounding and thrusting the outside of your foot more and more causing you to Dive fully. Your knees on the floor, and for this, it's very nice that you have uh, a mat because it might be a little bit painful. So we are going to put our knees on the mat and we're going to do a little frog. This is a very good hip opener. So we're going to send our hip backwards and we're going to just allow gravity to send back to open our groins. Enjoy these deep stretches. Enjoy, you just have to focus on your breath and release 
Release your hips. Use your arms to hold you up. Give it a little bit of movement back and forth here. Really feeling the complexity of your hips and how it really affects all the movement. We're gonna come on top of our hands and we're gonna slowly transfer the weight to our hands and close our hips to avoid having any injuries of sort. And we're gonna come on our knees and tuck our feet and do a little camel. So there's three uh, kind of levels here. One is just that you stand here. The other one is that you come to your heels and take this opening. And come back up. Rest a little bit on downward facing dog again. Uh, sorry, on child's pose. We place the hands front. Uh, our hips relaxed. We're gonna come back to our seating position and we're gonna do some deep shoulders. And this is our last stretch before we start dancing. Uh, so we're gonna do a little shoulder like debug. So the first thing you're gonna do is that you're gonna imagine that your shoulder and your ear ha like are like have two magnets. So you're gonna Bring them and like pull them against each other as much as you can using all the strength and then you're going to relax. You're going to do that again. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze. You're here against your shoulder and relax. Feel the space. Bring your left hand to the back of your head and look to the left and bow. Keep the right hand on the floor and then allow the pull to really go deep on your neck. Mm. Find those really, really, really deep, tight places. Keep on creating a concentric force and come back. Do it to the other side. Magnet. And magnet, magnet. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. Try to do it again. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. Very nice. We're going to grab. Uh, yes, we're going to, with our right hand, look to our right side and grab the back of our head. And placing the left hand on the floor, we're going to bend and bow our head to the left and using the hand, pulling it at the same time, the left hand pulling towards the floor. And come back. Let's hit. Just like loose wrist, just hitting our shoulders. This part that always feels a little bit rusty when we're in the chair. Now we're gonna hit our chest as well. Create a vibration. Hit our arms, our legs. And we're good. I'm going to place, I'm going to play some music right now. 
and we just in this body that we have we're just going to reply with our movement and i invite everyone now to kind of turn off the cameras or keep it on as you wish and we're going to do a little improvisation with this body and the main idea is how can you dance and create even more space that you've created with this release so really go through there and we're going to play some nice music and we're just going to have a nice little dance together need to get my items to work Almost there. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Open the spaces deeper. Notice what is different. Try to dissolve the tension of your body through movement. If it feels stuck, move it. Use shaking to release. Move your head. of the connection with the floor coming up and coming down look around your space
inside of you that never, ever, ever stopped. The micro movement inside that never stops. Don't let that small movement die. Keep your attention inward. Feel uh, your breath, your weight, it transfers. And as you go on today with your chores, with your tasks, or with your resting, if it's the end of the day, remember that this microscopic dance of life is always alive inside of you. And it can be as big as you want. And it can be as tiny as the only one perceiving it is you. Thank you. Uh, let's let's grab like two minutes to go to the toilet and drink some water and then we can talk a little bit. You you at fifty two. That was hey. good. James, glad you made it first class. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice to see some new faces here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me. That was great. Yeah. Great. Nor How's, normally I don't see like the ecstatic dance at the end of class. That's definitely a, a new one. I really <laughs> enjoy it. The the yoga yeah. studio is probably a little too primitive to to do that on a regular basis. At least the ones in that I've seen. Yeah, I mean, our I I think you know, like when we started, I was giving a lot more of yoga, mm -hmm. but oh yeah, let me just stop the recording.